Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And continuing the topic of the continuous time signals. So let's say today we discuss a minor topic which is the addition and multiplication of some continuous time signals. Addition and multiplication of continuous time signals. All right. So we see them both together, all right. So we add or multiply the amplitudes. We and I will use colors for this. We add and a slash multiply the amplitudes of signals. At each and every instant of time, at each and every instant of time, to get their what? To get their sum or product, you know. So, addition with the red, product with the green. All right. and I hope the basic thing is clear you know so let us take an example okay let's say I have this function as x1 of t this is x1 of t all right so let's say this is 0 1 2 3 4 right this is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 fine and similarly, let's say we have another function that is x2 of t. This is t. This is x2 of t. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Alright. So uh, what is the function? So let's say it's like this. So it's 2 from negative 1 to 1. It's 2 from negative 1 to 1. Alright. Then from negative 1 to negative 2, it's 1. From negative 1 to negative 2, it's 1. And then it's 0 afterwards. Right? This is 1. And similarly over here, after 1, so at 1 it directly jumps to 0. And it's 0 like this. And if we have x2 of t, so this is... 2 from negative 3 to negative 2 this is 2 from negative 3 to negative 2 it jumps to negative 1 till 0 fine and then it goes to 1 and stays 1 till 1 goes to 1 and stays 1 till 1 and then after 1 it goes back to 2 till 2 and comes back to 0 and then stays 0. So let's say these are the two signals that I have taken for the demonstration of the sum and product. So we do this at each and every instant of time. So have a look. Let's say I have this. This is the t axis, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, similarly negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. The red color represents the sum of them. So let's say s of t. And you know what? s of t is what? s of t in this case is x1 of t plus x2 of t at each and every instant of t. So we take intervals, alright? We take different intervals of time. So let's say have a look over here, beyond negative 3, negative 3, so beyond negative 3, when the time is less than negative 3, the both of them are 0, so which means the sum would be 0, why, because we will be adding this value with this value, so when t is negative 3, x1 is 0, x2 is 0, 
below negative 3, alright? So when this t is less than negative 3, uh, x1 is 0, x2 is 0, and this would imply the sum is 0. So below this negative 3 values, you have a 0 over here. Is that fine? Now we take intervals. From negative 3 to negative 2, when this t ranges, when t is greater than negative 3 and it's less than negative 2. So I have made this wrong, right? Like, so when t is greater than negative 3 and it's less than negative 2, which means in this particular case, so here x1 of t is 0, x2 of t is 2 x1 is 0 and x2 is 2 so this would imply what that the sum would be 2 plus 0 in this case so this would imply that the sum uh, would be 2 plus 0 which is equal to 2 and from negative 3 to negative 2 we have the function value as 2 so this is the function all right now from negative 2 to negative 1 so when this t is greater than negative 2 and it's less than negative 1, so which means this interval x1 is 1, alright? x1 is 1 and x2 is negative 1. x2 is negative 1. So this would imply that their sum would be 1 plus a negative of 1 and this would be 0. So which means for this particular interval now this value would jump to 0 and it would be 0 till a negative 1. Is that fine? Okay. Now, negative 1 to 0. When this t is greater than negative 1 and it's less than 0. So have a look. x1 is 2 in this case. x1 is 2 in this case. And x2, it's negative 1 x2 is negative 1. So this would imply that their sum is what? It's a 2 plus the negative of 1. So this implies that it would be 1. So now from 1 to 0 it will go to what? Negative 1 to 0 it would be 1. So like this. It can, can go to 1. Fine? Now 0 to 1. When the t is greater than 0 and it's less than 1. So in this case what would happen is x1 is 2 x1 is 2 and x2 is 1 x2 is 1. So in this case what will happen that the sum would be 2 plus 1 which would equal 3 now. So now we have what from uh, where to where? From 0 to 1 it would now be equal to 3. So from 0 to 1 it would equal 3 and now this would have a jump. So let me remove this and this. So if this represents the sum function and this is 3. So this will now jump to 3 and it will be 3 till 1. Now 1 to 2. So 1 to 2 uh, x1 is 0 right. When t is greater than 1 and it's less than 2, so x1 is 0 and x2 is x2 is 2. So this would imply that uh, their sum would be 2 in this case. So 1 to 2. Alright. It would now be 2. Fine. Now after this, have a look. When t is beyond 2 so both the functions are 0 so over here I would write it when t is greater than 2 x1 and x2 both are equal to 0 so which means their sum would equal 0 after this so this is the case fine so this is about their sum I hope this is clear you do it at each and every instant so you take intervals and you do it respectively now this is about the sum so I do the product also myself or do I leave it a homework well I do the product and the, the subtraction and division that I don't think is necessary to make a separate video so that you see it yourself all right so, so, so this is fine 
So I would have to remove some space, you know, and I will just remove this part. The, the, the heading also, I will remove it because I would need space. All right. Now, the next is the, the product of it. So let's say with the green color, I represented the product. So this is T and let me make a draw a bigger one because this so this is P of T, let's say the product. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Alright. So again, <coughs> sorry, having some intervals. When when t is less than negative 3, so both the functions are 0, the product would be 0. T is less than negative 3, x1 is 0, x2 is 0, so 0 multiplied 0, the product would be 0, and which means when negative 3, beyond negative 3, it would be 0. Fine? Alright. Now from negative 3 to negative 2, when t is uh, greater than negative 3 and it's less than negative 2, so in this case, x1 is 0, x2 is 2, but whatever be the value of this, so the product would be 0. Why? Because one of them is 0. So negative 3 to negative 2, it would also stay 0. Alright, now from negative 2 to negative 1. So when t is greater than negative 2, and it's smaller than negative 1, right? So in this case, x1 is 1 x1 is 1 in this case and x2 uh, negative 2 to negative 1 is negative 1 so this would imply the product to be negative 1 so in this particular interval it will come to negative 1 fine all right now negative 1 to 0 so t is greater than negative 1 it's less than 0 so in this case the value of x1 is 2 and the value of x2 is negative 1 again. So this would imply that 2 into negative 1 so the product would be negative 2 and now it will go to negative 2. This is negative 2 let's say. So it will now come to negative 2. Oh, yeah. Now we are at point 0. Fine. So from 0 to 1 when t range is 0 to 1 so so where over here let's say when t is uh, it's greater than 0 it's less than 1 so in this case what happens is that x1 is 2 x1 is 2 and x2 is 1 so this implies that the product would be equal to 2 in this case so we will have a direct jump so let's say this is 1, let's say this is 2, so we will directly have a jump to 2 and it will stay 2 till 1. Now, from 1 to 2 which is the final case, so when t is greater than 1, it's less than 2, x1 in this case is, it's 2, no, 1 to 2, 1 to 2 is 0, right? And x2 in this case is 2, so which means the product would be 0. And the product after it is always 0, when t is greater than 2, x1 is 0, x2 is 0, so the product would be 0. So which means over there, over here it will jump to 0 and it will stay 0 afterwards. So this is about the sum, this is about the product, and that's all about this video, that's all about today. So like I believe in a smaller topic, I've taken a longer time. But you know, this was just for time passing. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.